Hey, what's up, guys? I am back. It's your guy, Reno Mo. You know, I haven't done a video in a long time. Well, today is your lucky day. I got my LG G4. I was going to get a S6 Edge, but I found out that there was glass everywhere. So I just got a neutral phone. I'm going to be getting a uh, new phone later on. But anyways, today I'm going to show you a couple of MCB... Well, one of the updates to an MCPE mod, which is, uh, you know, um, advanced too many items. It's now called Toolbox, so what you're gonna need is Minecraft PE itself and another app called Blunk Launcher. Now to my RAR, it's the uh the app that I'm talking about. Toolbox for Minecraft PE. Just download it. It's an APK file. It will say it will need the Blunk Launcher add-on, and just download it. So as you see here. We are using it, so let's click play, and we're going to click new, survive and create world. As you see, once I start, up at the top left corner, it has an M. As you see, just a normal neutral world. As you see, the glass is a bit glitchy, but the grass is a bit glitchy. So as you see, I'm going to survive world. And all you have to do is click on this M up here, and as you see, it's all items from Minecraft. As you see, I have every single item. From normal Minecraft. So this is the advanced too many items. And if you come up here and click that little thing, you can change your mode between creative and survival. So you see now I'm in creative mode. Easy. And I was just in survival mode. You can also no clip yourself. So that way you can go through the world. As you see, I am now the ultimate oh wait, no I'm not. I am the ultimate Minecrafter. <laughs> I can literally go through the world. You can enter in caves, and you can basically en enter in any type of structure. As you see, caves are automatically built inside the game. As you see, you can just no clip yourself back out, and you can advance yourself back up to human society. But be advised that if you do, un um, if you uh disable no clip mode while Undo the uh, map, you will indeed die, whether creative or not. So, as you see, um, not done yet. Where can I enter in here? Okay, whoa, this looks cool. This is not, this is really cool. I can use this for something. Anyways, so, let's get the no clip out of here. You can set your own health. So, you see, you can put up max HP. You, oh, wait, let me go to survival. So, yeah. Now I can set my HP. So you see, set it to one. I think I need to do something. So I took a minute. Set. Ah. Anyways, you can kill yourself. You can heal yourself. You can restore your hunger. Oh, and you can activate game speed. You can make it game totally out of control. You can make it so fast, you'll be able to think this Minecraft in the world of Minecraft. You see? Now, we can go back and uh, let's reset that game speed back to its neutral. You can set the time of the game. Maybe you want it to be night or day, and then you can stop the time. So you see, it's perfectly day now. You can go down and click stop time and disable ticking. Now you can change the weather also. As you see, it was just sunny, now it's raining. Now it's going to thunder. So it's going to And now it's going to be a blowing thunderstorm. So it's going to be a thick thing. You can find potion effects, whether whichever potion you want. It's only like this because I'm using a ton of mods on it as we speak. So you can get the extra health. You can amplify it for up to 128, and you can have it for around 177 weeks. Just add that, and as you see, the add is now there, and look at all these hearts. Look at all these hearts that you can use, I'm totally like invincible. So you can go hunting your life. You can change your dimension wherever you want to go. So, as you see right now, it says overworld. Once I click on dimension, it generates me and puts me in the nether. Pretty awesome. So you do not have to build a nether portal or nothing. Just click on Dimension Overworld, and it'll send you there. Now we're gonna go down. We can spawn mobs and entities. 
Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh, that's a bat. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. But yeah, you can enter into uh, spawn mode and you can spawn basically anything. Whether you're in uh whether you're in um peaceful mode or not. Well, well, I need to spawn gas. Gas are big Wait, what? Did you guys just hear that? Anyways, um, you can go back and you can kill all entities and kill all mobs. You can fire. You can fire, put fire on mobs. So you see, and for, to set the mob, you can, uh, show a button in game. So you can put all HP one to one. And we're going to spawn entities. So you can spawn a lot of stuff. It's pretty cool. You can spawn fireballs. Sorry, my battery is dying out. So, in turn, my charge is gonna go on and off. So, so you can make it up and go to yourself. So, you can do all the work. 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 And blows it into in this room. So you can even look. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, so we're gonna. You can just basically. We can like set up a whole new kit. So, anyways, let's get back up to the ground. But yeah, so far this mod is. Very awesome mod to me. You can exit out of spawn mode. Whenever you want, you can add teleports, which I'll get into later. You can add your own armor and enchant it easily with that easy button. So, okay, hold on a minute. Okay, guys. Alright, my thing just got a little bit. What the heck? Alright guys, so if I start it up again it's just gonna restart but basically show